Hey, it's Tim here. And in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to connect to Salesforce directly from Tableau Prep. Now, previously, before 20.2, what you had to do is connect to a published data source in order to work with Salesforce data in Tableau Prep. But now, as you can see, I can actually just connect directly to Salesforce. What it will do is it'll open up a browser as you try and authenticate, and it will automatically authenticate you. I was already logged into my Salesforce instance, so it will automatically pick that up. And when I get back to Tableau Prep, you'll see that I can immediately see my uh, tables. Now, whatever URL you typically use for Salesforce there, that's what will show up here in the top. Uh, and as you can see, I get full access to all my tables. I can just increase the amount of space here. And you can see I get full access to all the objects that are available to me typically in Salesforce. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do some very basic data prep. I'm gonna bring in the opportunity table. Um, pretty much every Salesforce instance has that by default. So um, if you're following along, you can get a developer account and use this, or you can just uh, watch and see what I'm doing. I'm gonna do a very simple bit of data prep. I'm gonna try and join on the uh, stage object onto this main uh, opportunity object. So if I just type in stage, make sure that that's in my data set. You can see here the stage names are all available there. And if I bring in the opportunity stage as a separate connection here, you can see that uh, it starts to load and I can see the full uh, list of tables. Now, notice that it actually brings in a couple of other attributes that are related to this. So linked keys, uh, any sort of metadata that's useful in Salesforce, it tries to pull as much of that through and I'd expect this to get better given that Salesforce is a quiet tableau. So uh, let's add in another cleaning step in here so we can just make sure that we can see all the data that we'd like to see. And you can see here the master label um, is available to us here. So I can just go ahead, drag this onto the top item in blue. It will create a new union step. I'm interested in keeping basically all the items from the blue data set, the, doing a left join in, in traditional terms. And what we want to do is get the stage name and match that with the master label. That's a very basic join. You could probably do a better join than that uh, using a different sort of criteria. But um, if I then uh, zoom out of that, you can see here that it gives you the join result here at the bottom. So there's 31 items that have matched, which is great. Um, one item didn't match from my second data set, which is the closed and lost here. You can see that that's highlighted here in red. But other than that, the join has been successful. I can then go ahead and publish this out to a database. I can even preview my data here. I get this nice sort of summarized view that I can see that's uh, great in Tableau Prep. And I can even just see the fields that are available to me here if I wanted to. Or I can even see uh, a bit of both, so just a table, the summary, and what I want to do. Last step is obviously to out, the last step is obviously, the last step is obviously to output this. So I can just hit on this uh, step here and output this. And what I'm gonna do in this case is output it to a single file. You'll also see here one of the new options in Tableau Prep, which is the ability to do incremental refreshes. But check out my video on that feature um, in the uh, link above. All right, that's it. If you've enjoyed this video, hit the like button, hit subscribe. Otherwise, I'll catch you in the next video. Drop a comment below if you'd like to see different kinds of content.